Okay, so now, on to step three. We can even disable this now, we don't really need it. Let's go ahead and save our cheat table. I got it on a, an older drive spinning up. Okay, um, one thing I like to do is actually come, Cheat Engine does make a deal for you in my documents, um, or documents. I've got a separate one I moved onto a different drive that I tend to use, but whatever folder you want to keep all your cheat tables in, I always like to make a separate folder for each cheat or each um, game. And then, yeah, it usually uses a process name and that generally works fine for me. Most of the, the only thing I've ever come up with is where they do a different version of that game and they don't actually rename the process. I think it was only on a remake that I've ever seen that. So let's clear this out. Now we've got our unknown value that we want to find. So it's an integer, unknown initial value, your first scan. On well, this one, since we're seeing that it's actually decreasing by a certain amount, let's go ahead and Show it that now it's showing minus seven, but since we're doing decreasing value by, we want to give it a whole number here. And it looks like it's going to be that 407 or 404 now. Yeah, there it does show a sign. I just want to look at these because I think this is going to be whatever our last health decrease value was. There we go. No. Now that must just be the this guy here, maybe. Okay, so moving on. And that is one thing that's um you kind of do in a lot of these when you just see stuff that looks suspicious or something that looks like you might be able to do something say for example if we were looking for health and we were seeing a value that was actually working with how much we're getting our value decreased by we could hack that um, if we see that this doesn't update that might be what these are and thus we could actually hack this as well and give us a good visual display in the game to know that our, our cheat is working Let's go ahead and move on with this and find out what access is this address. Again, we've got a, a full deal here just going all the time. So we could probably... Oh, no, that's one offset. I almost wonder, let's see if that's actually right. So this one isn't running at all. So we don't know that. Um, but that may actually be the same thing since this is 790 I almost wonder if this is just one off of that and thus we'd be able to just do level one you know step one or step two step you know on down from from that with these same pointers and just offset each one and this is where in reality if I was doing this I'd go back to that level and make sure I restored that address and write it down or something just in case because it may not be reallocating right now it will eventually, so we're not going to get too worried about that. But so now it's just going to hit me. And we can see where it's subbing it. On this one, we want to set it to 5,000. So this one, let's go ahead and pretend like this is a value we don't actually want to change, but we want to make the game think we changed it. So it looks like we'd actually want to inject here, because it's actually directly subbing the value at the address. So at that point, it really doesn't know what the total is anymore. Um, actually, let's not do that. Um, let's go up here, because this compare actually looks like it's going to be 
Yeah, see this right here is our compare for 5,000. Jump if not equal. So it actually looks like so we can do a real, a very simple injection here. So let's go ahead and set up our injection here. Auto assemble. G table template and AOB injection. Yeah. Step three. Yeah, it's not a full hook. Anyway. Okay, so from here we don't really need most of this. Most of this can actually disappear. For a real simple injection like this, all we need is our injection point. And then how we're gonna disable it. In this case, we're going to want to replace uh, the jump and the offset that tells it where to jump to. It could be an actual address, even with four bytes for the for the address. That's a total of five. Um, but so what we want to do is actually keep it from jumping. So we're just going to do data byte and then nine zero nine zero. We could also just do. Yeah, that's screwed up. We could also just do um, two no ops like this, and either would work, either or would work. Okay, so this one being real simple, there's not a whole lot to it. Not really much to overlook. I honestly think this is cleaner, so I'm gonna go with that. Let's throw that back in cheat engine. Assign the current cheat table. Name that. Set three. And then if we enable it, we can see that our, our next button became visible right away and we can move on to step four.